Hey guys, it's Holly and back to school is finally here. The kids have finally gone back to school after quite a long summer break. And today we're going to talk about lunches. Now here's the thing. My son's school has a no peanut or tree nut policy in their lunch and snack. So I kind of was looking for different things to put in their lunch boxes because my son loves peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. So I need to switch it up. So I asked the mamas on the um, Baby Gizmo Facebook page and some of them, quite a lot of them gave me the same answer. And it just reminded me of what I did last year. So I thought this is the perfect time for a video to share it with you guys. And that is how to keep hot foods hot and cold foods cold when it comes to sending your kids lunch to school. Because my kids, they like to bring their lunch. And what you have to do is, you know what? Get a thermos because you could send macaroni and cheese and meatballs and soup and all kinds of things and it would still be hot four to five hours later when your child is sitting down in the cafeteria. So here's what you need to do, you need to get a thermos. Let's, let me tell you a quick tip of how to do this and we're gonna talk about hot foods today, um, especially soup. My kids like to take soup to school. Here's what you do. What you need to do is you need to put boiling water into your thermos. That's the first thing you do. But what I do is I put it into a glass container and I put it in the microwave for two minutes. Yes, my microwave is down in my island, so I do have to bend down. So I put that on for two minutes. That's the very first thing I do. Then I'm gonna go ahead and start making whatever I wanna send him that day. Now, this isn't something you would make ahead of time because um, it only like stays hot for four to five hours. So this is something you need to do in the morning. I am not a homemade soup kind of mom at 6 a.m. My kids go to school very early, so we do canned soup. So while my water is boiling, I'm gonna go ahead and start heating up my soup because I obviously want the soup to be as warm as possible when he gets to lunch. So I got some chicken noodle soup. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the stove and turn that on. Now, as soon as my boiling water is hot enough, we're gonna pour it right into the thermos. Okay, when now when your water is boiling, you want to carefully remove it from your microwave. And you're going to go ahead and pour it into the thermos. Now you're going to do this while your food is cooking. Pour it in there, and you're going to want to leave that in the thermos for as long as you're cooking the meal. So a good five minutes, and that is going to heat up your thermos so that it's nice and hot when you put your hot food in it. So this is gonna kind of take the chill, you know, the room temperature chill away from that container. So you're gonna let it sit there until your food is ready. Now, once your hot food is hot, whether like I said, it's macaroni and cheese or soup, you're gonna go ahead and open the thermos back up very carefully, because remember there is boiling water in there. Open it up and you're gonna go ahead and dump that out. I just have a bowl here just for video sake. Dump that up. Now my container is piping hot. You can see the steam, as a matter of fact. Then you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna put your soup into there. Like that. That way the soup is going to stay hot. It's gonna keep her soup warm until lunchtime. Like I said, four to five hours. They don't spill at all. It's gonna fit right here in her lunchbox. Don't forget to include a spoon of course, um, but this is a way for them to take things that are peanut free, but you can have them have a hot lunch without them buying lunch at school. So I really, really like the idea of filling the thermoses with all kinds of different things. Maybe it's, you know, from dinner last night and they really, really loved it and you wanted to reheat it. I don't know. Um, my kids, they really like soup. So just another idea of what to put in the lunch boxes this year, because sometimes this you know, the regular old sandwiches get kind of old, you know, really quick. So that's it for me. What do you put in your kids' lunch boxes? Leave me a comment underneath the video and let us all know. And I will talk to you later. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I'm Holly from Baby Gizmo. Bye.